Midway through the 22nd century, robots developed and maintained by the USS Corporation suddenly turned against humanity. They flooded the water supply with harmful nanites, sending most of the population into a coma-like state. These countless men, women, and children were loaded into transport shuttles and whisked away. No one knows where. No one knows why. More than a year has passed since the incident. Those who managed to evade the robot's clutches scavenge the now silent cities. Mechanized police and drones search relentlessly for any remaining signs of life. Even most domestic bots now report humans on sight. Under USS Corp's watchful eye, a new robotic civilization is emerging from the ashes of the old. In the face of encroaching extinction, the few who remain fight to survive, searching for the reason behind humanity's fate and clinging to the hope of better days ahead. There's no time, Em. Saw some cops down the block. Probably the neighborhood patrol. Have you got the list? No, but we know what we need. Vera was up all night. If we don't find something to break the fever, sooner or later, someone's gonna hear her crying. That's priority number one. Brian still isn't sleeping. And Alex's leg is making him even crankier than normal. We should find something for them, too. Definitely. We'll cover more ground if we split up. Let me know what you find. You got it. Well, that's a little inconvenient. This shelf's cutting off access to all the pediatric medicines. We have to find a way to move it without drawing any attention. Definitely not moving it on my own. Park, give me a hand over here. Sure thing. Cops will hear it. Need to find another way. Ideas? This thing's way too heavy for us to lift on our own. We might have better luck if we had some kind of lever.
Let's take a look. Could be some tools I can use. Some kind of power unit. Better take it. Could come in handy. We can't leave yet. Olga's counting on us to find something for Vera's fever. It's some cable. That was too close for comfort. So, what have we got here? Whoa, look at all those meds. No way I'm breaking down this door, though. I'll have to find a control panel. Nope, not the time, Emily. The back door is already unlocked. Could be useful if we need to cut and run. Have to find the manager's keycard first. Every time Park's asthma kicks in, I feel so helpless. Have to find the manager's keycard first. Nice room. Brian's insomnia doesn't seem to be getting any better. Maybe these pills will do the trick. This thing was a relic even before the incident. So, I guess I shouldn't be surprised it's not working. Marta would love this. She's crazy about anime and pretty much anything else from Japan. This could show me something useful, if I can fix the rest. What's left of humanity is a little bit like this poor little guy. No one left to water it. Oh, the irony. Maybe I can get it running. Looks like a few parts are missing.
It's alive. Nice work, Emily. Remember these? Hey, little buddy, why so quiet? No one to play with? <sighs> Finding this drugstore was a godsend. Luckily, it has some more of the meds Justin needs. Although, let's be honest, a wheelchair is already pretty much a death sentence this city. Thankfully, this place is the perfect place to hold up. Might even stay a while. Food could become a problem since the closest store is three blocks away, but Justin's safety has to come first. I've been going from time to time to scout out the area, praying they don't spot me. Turns out the commotion I heard yesterday was a group of people trying to hide here. Nothing but former survivors now. You know what? Everything worked out. They made a bunch of racket in the sales area, but I just shut the door and they never even knew we were here. There's a lot of things I miss from before, but the idiot box isn't one of them. Maybe Brian could hack the safe, but I'm not getting it open without a key. Grandpa used a wheelchair too. He refused to have anything to do with mechanized prosthetics. He said all this newfangled technology couldn't be trusted. <laughs> he hit that nail on the head. we got here. Those batteries I found will fit here. I can use this to turn on the fridge. But first I have to get the power up and running. It's a magnetic key for a safe. But which one? Whoa, that thing's massive! If only it was full of food. Painkillers. Bingo. These will come in handy for sure. Damn it, it's locked. But I'm guessing the key can't be too far away. Maybe inside the drugstore?
All the batteries have been placed. Fingers crossed. Power failure. Restarting the alarm system. Park? Where are you? What the? The alarm. Disable it using the manager's computer. Damn. On the way. Quick! Just wait. Hurry, Park! Getting bad. Park? Where are you? What the? The alarm. Disable it using the manager's computer. Damn. On the way. Quick! Just wait. Hurry, Park! bad. Again. Okay, this sucks. You all right, Em? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I just need a sec. You sure the alarm will stay off? I guess. Anyway, it's off now. Just shout if you need me. Stupid fridge. I should try again. With the power restored, maybe I can bring this beast back to life. Suddenly I've got chills running down my spine. Yes! It worked! No good. Out of reach. No good. Out of reach. It's a magnetic key for a safe, but which one? I just hope Alex knows how to say thank you.
No good. Out of reach. Damn it, it's locked. But I'm guessing the key can't be too far away. Maybe inside the drugstore? What I'd give to just charge it one last time. Damn it, just my luck. found this. Thought it might be, you know, useful. Great. I've been scared to check, but I think the one I've been using is on its last legs. I'm positive that the meds we need are buried under this shelf, but how am I gonna move it? This thing weighs a ton. Maybe. If this thing comes crashing down, you'll hear the noise for blocks. Gotta come up with something. Oh, that's a lot of drugs. I don't know what they're all for, but I gotta find something for Vera's fever. And I'm guessing it's in that case. I hate to admit it, but if Matt were here, he'd figure something out. I don't think I'll find medical supplies in there.
Now, let's see what we've got. A gravity deck. Just what we need to move that shelf out of the way. A kid's toothbrush. It's so tiny and cute. Hey, I found a gravity jack in the garage. Bet we could use it to move that shelf. That could work. Slide it underneath, and I'll grab it from the other side. All right. No, no! Damn it! Come on, Em. Grab the stuff and let's get out of here. It's here. Let's go. Shit, my backpack! Hold on, I'll be right back. Park, no! Forget about it! My inhalers! Emily! Human, stop where you are. For your safety, remain calm and do not resist. Where the hell did you disappear to? Oh, you're back. So, how did it go? Things got hairy. I'll explain later, but it worked out. We got the meds. <laughs> it's too bad you didn't see me blast that cop with a flare gun. You what? Enough, Alex. Just stop. We checked and no one came after us, okay? Goddamn stupid kids. You better learn to take things more seriously. Oh, don't mind him. The important thing is that you're safe and sound. Now then, I just made pancakes. Any takers? Thanks, but I gotta get some sleep. I can barely stand on two legs, much less hold a fork. All right, so I'll heat up a breakfast for you when you wake up. But please, will you first get some fever medicine to Olga? It appears Vera is getting worse. And you, Park? Don't mind if I do. Thanks. Where's Matt? Off getting supplies. We're running low on food. He should be back soon. Emily, I think the old man needs your help. Can you check in with him? Park? What's up, Em? So, how was your morning? Let's put it this way. Telling the story is better than living it. That bad, huh? We've gotten out of worse. Like the freight car incident? Don't remind me. Who knew the driver would take off so soon? It took us forever to get back home. Hey, we should keep an eye out for a new tablet. Yours is like a hundred years old. Nah, I'm good. This tablet and I have been through a lot together. Plus, it reminds me of my dad. I used to mess around making music, working the counter at the store. Right. Sorry. I shouldn't have said anything. That's okay. 
The tablet might be old, but it does everything I need. The music editor is decent, and it's still great for movies and books. Holds a charge for a few weeks, too. What more could I ask for? Um, don't answer that. All right, I'm gonna try and get some sleep. Bon appétit. Yeah, thanks. Alex's toolbox. I'd better ask before messing around with it. Here, Olga. We managed to find the meds. Oh, thank you, Emily. Little Vera's fever has made it so hard for her to sleep. I hope this does the trick. Pasmotrim. We'll see. Her cough is... it's very bad. When she wakes, I'll give her some of that medicine. But please, let her sleep for now. Well, we're all really hoping that... Uh, where'd this crib come from? Brian found it on one of the upper floors while you were away. I'm sad we'll need to leave it behind, eventually. It's not exactly portable. Okay, well, try and get some rest. I'm off to give Alex a hand. Okay, thank you. And to Park, too. I hope the medicine helps. Warm, cozy, no robots. Sometimes just the simple things are enough. This picture is one of the few things I have left. Mom and Dad, Marta, I miss you so much. Is that it? I'm kind of busy. Alex, I found some painkillers at the drugstore. Maybe they could help you with your leg? Leg pain requires having a leg, Emily. It'd be idiotic to waste painkillers on a phantom limb. Oh, right. Sorry, I didn't... Knock it off, Alex. The girl's just trying to help. Fine, give him here. I'm sure someone could make use of him. Maybe Matt after I put my only remaining foot up his ass. Now go on, give me some peace and quiet. I got a lot of work to do. Claire said you needed me for something? Yeah, maybe you can help me. My damn stump's been aching ever since I woke up. It's driving me nuts, sucking the strength right out of me. Here, use this thing to open the drawer by the kitchen and bring me the decoder. Okay, what does it look like? Well, it's a electronic thingamajig. You'll figure it out. Go on now. Is this it, Alex? Uh-huh. Hang on a sec. Help me out. Come on, give me a hand. Yeah, well, naturally, connecting the encrypted memory cells on this old thing is gonna take some trial and error. What? Ah, such a pain dealing with you dilettantes. Look, you got an eye for design, right? Just arrange the pixels so that the various colors aren't repeated, horizontally or vertically. You got me? I'll try. Wow, not 
bad. Hey, what the hell are you doing? Got this. I'm impressed. Okay, fine. Think for a change. bad. Okay, fine. All right, connection established. Just go relax. I'll handle the rest. Sounds good. Let us know what you find. Sleep tight, Emily. After a day like that, you deserve a little time for yourself.
You were never good enough. You know just how they are looking at you. They don't trust you. Remember the face of your mother? This can't be happening. Aren't we all dead already? Emily! Emily! It's already noon. Wake up before you sleep the day away. Matthew's bringing lunch soon. Okay, um, wait. I really slept for that long? Hey, Matt. Find anything interesting? Uh, yeah. Small stuff. Canned food, mostly. A lot of it's expired, though. I say, <laughs> we use Alex as a guinea pig. Are you taking requests? Find me a can of drink pink and I'll owe you. Big time. Hey, Brian. How you feeling? Sleep well? Hello, little Emily. Don't worry. At my age, it's perfectly normal. I found some sleeping pills today. Could that help? Hmm. Not familiar with this brand. Of all the meds I've tried, none seem to help. Hopefully, these will actually do the trick. Thank you. I almost forgot. I've got a surprise for you. After you make some hot tea for the old man. A surprise? One cup of tea, coming up.
Your tea, sir. Splendid work, little Emily. Here's a tip. My watch! You fixed it! Thank you! Here you go. It took some tinkering, but I was able to disable the antenna and navigation modules, so no one can track you. Other than that, the watch is like new. Splendid. Now, let's talk about this morning. And then, our plans for the future. After what happened in the drugstore today, Alex and I decided that some extra protection against robots would be wise. I won't keep you in suspense. I drafted a blueprint for a very powerful taser. However, it's only useful at close range. Simply put, a single charge should be able to fry a robot circuitry to a crisp. It won't be of much use if you get swarmed. It doesn't have that kind of power, but it should be able to bring down a single bot and buy you some time to get away. That's great, but I'm guessing you can't just make one out of rags and cardboard. Which means you're sending me somewhere dangerous to scavenge for parts, right? Not so dumb after all, are you, Matt? <laughs> Brian, I gave you the list of parts. Take Emily or Park with you. You'll find everything you need in any decent electronics store. Hmm. Sounds like our best bet is Geek Spot. It's a couple of hours on foot. There's a big parking lot out front. All those abandoned aero cars will make it easy to hide. Well then, that seems like the obvious choice. Both of you should get packed and head out while it's still light out. Hold on! I just got back! Can't this wait? It'll be dark soon. Stop testing my nerves, boy. I'll get off your back as soon as you get going. Do what you're told and get the hell out of here. Enough! Enough, Matthew! We really need you to find those parts. I have a feeling that taser will come in quite handy. We'll talk more when you get back. Fine, fine. I just don't understand why this old jerk gets to order us around like he's the boss or something. You're such an asshole. When I get my leg fixed, you better start running. Stop it, Alex. You should be ashamed. How else am I supposed to talk to this punk so that he understands? Who does he think he is, huh? I think we'd better get going. Like, now. Okay, okay, yeah. I can really use some fresh air. Away from these freaking old farts. Park, I don't suppose you've got another round for the flare gun? It could be useful. None left, but I can give you this firecracker I found, if you want. Nice. I'll take what I can get, thanks. If nothing else, I can use it as a distraction. I mean, I am done with all his yelling, telling us what to do. I mean, who made him king? I was just looking forward to getting some rest. I don't know. Alex could work on his delivery, sure, but... A lot of what he has to say seems smart. Oh, come on, Emily. Are you serious? You really think he's the best one to lead us? There's gotta be someone better, don't you think? Look, all I know is that bickering over bragging rights won't lead anywhere good. Look, you'll have to take a side sooner or later, Emily. Your beloved Alex is bringing trouble to our doorstep. Fine, just forget it. But honestly, the old folks are a liability. Dead weight. You know they'll just get captured sooner or later, right? Only question is whether or not they'll drag us down with them. What is wrong with you? Don't you care about the others even just a little? What about Olga and Vera? Or is your ego just that big? Well, tell me I'm wrong. It's a miracle we haven't gotten into more serious trouble yet. Forget Alex for a second. What happens if the cops discover our hideout? There's no way Alex and Brian can outrun them. Park's got his asthma, and Claire's no track star either. I've been over and over it in my head, and I'm sure you have too. What are you saying? That we should just run off? Leave them all behind? Only the strong survive, is that it, Matt? Oh, come on. That's not what I meant. I just... Look, 
I'm sure deep down you get it. If this is an attempt to show off your dazzling wit, it's not working. Let's just drop it, okay? Listen, I'm not afraid to say what everyone else is already thinking. Being sick and old are liabilities. Don't pretend you don't know that. Drop it. Finally made it. Shh. This way, quick. Wonderful. How are we getting past these two? Maybe just go around? Yeah, great idea, Em. If we want their friends to call for backup. If it's just a patrol, they'll move on soon. Hard to imagine what the cops are doing here. Let's wait for a bit. Sounds good. While we do, there's something I've been meaning to ask. How'd you end up here? With Brian and the rest, I mean... Even a blind man could find their hideout. If you could even call it that. Seriously? That's it? <laughs> yeah. I was just walking down the street and saw some light coming from a basement window. Didn't seem like robots, so I investigated. Turns out I was right. There used to be more of us. Anyone tell you about Mike? Nah, of course not. Cause Alex would flip. He was stubborn, but a good guy. Sound familiar? Anyway, one day he went out for supplies and he never returned. Really? And no one knows what happened to him? Maybe I will ask Alex about it. What did you do before the incident? Can't see you behind a desk. Well, let's just say I was in transportation and logistics. A lot of folks were willing to pay top dollar to get exactly what they wanted. Uh, what about you? Where did you work? I was a spatial designer, creating virtual apartments, stuff like that. Did some very cool VR gaming gigs, too. <laughs> really? Sounds like a total waste of time, to be honest. What? No, I like... I mean, I liked it. What about your family? Were they taken too? I never met my parents. I don't know much about them. Just that they were loaded. Sorry, I didn't mean to... Didn't mean to what? You know, upset you. Hey, no sweat. I'm used to it. Well, it doesn't look like they're leaving anytime soon. Can we just sneak past them? Ugh, I'm sick of waiting. Okay, I have an idea. A little risky, I suppose, but I think it'll work. Trust me, see that cop car? I'm gonna make my way inside. You just need to attract the cop's attention from the other direction. You're not serious! What am I supposed to do? Dance the salsa? Keep it down. No, you're not gonna put on a show. Just maybe make some noise or throw something at them. Then I'll do a little, um, hit and run with their own arrow car. Wait, what? Are you nuts? If you're trying to impress me, this is definitely not the time. It'll work, I promise. They won't even see it coming. The guys and I have done this a hundred times before. Now let's go. Keep quiet and don't let those repair bots spot you. And he's gone. Okay, you've got this. Just stay out of sight and find a way to make some noise.
Okay, that was impressive. You weren't kidding about having done this before. What'd you say you did before? Maybe I'll tell you another day. If we make it that long. We've still got business to take care of. I doubt they had a chance to call reinforcements. But I'm not sticking around to find out. hologram nearly shit myself today is a great day to shop with tons of special offers feel free to look around and let me know if you have any questions it's just a hologram so it won't call the cops right would you like me to connect you with the police department no okay give me a call if you need any help and don't forget we have mega discounts on 3D printers this weekend. It's totally oblivious to the chaos outside. Anyway, what are we looking for again? If you need help, well, since you're offering, Amber, where can we find a TSLS accumulator, gun emitter, and Jameson control unit? Please visit the following departments. Red, green, and purple. That's helpful, thanks. Kind words are all the gratuity I need. Let me know if you need something else. Let's check it out. But can we not call that thing anymore? Creeps me out. here. Amber? How may I help you? Amber, who are you? I am a holographic assistant, and my job is to answer all customer inquiries about our products, help them with store navigation, and highlight our current discounts and promotions. May I help you with something else? I'll let you know if I need you. Sure thing. I'm always ready to help. You selected the TSL-S accumulator. Good choice. Unfortunately, the last remaining unit is for the prize machine display only, and not for sale. But you're in luck. It's available for free through a limited time offer. All you need is three special coupons. Limited time offer? Yeah, right. Anyway, guess I need to find those coupons. Like this? Whoa, where'd you find that? It was just lying on the floor over there. We'll probably find more if we look around. There, Mr. Coupon. I found you a friend. I have 
three coupons. Now to get that accumulator. Just for a stupid prize? Hmm. This thing hasn't seen a maintenance worker in over a year. Not surprising. I guess we have to hack it. Hack it? Is that another of your many talents? Did you used to be a spy or something? Anything's possible, babe. I'll open the case. You watch the screen. Let's try to reset it to factory defaults. That's great, but it's too soon to celebrate. There's still more to find. out of meeples. Wait, that's a different game. but what about the other stuff? Six nine point nine oh. Well, there's nothing to pay with, and we can't just take it and walk on out of here. Don't look at me. Who could predict we need money again? Phew, that was close. How are we supposed to get past that? This is crazy. The incident, the robots, hell, aliens could invade and for the cashiers it'd be business as usual. Damn, didn't think this through. How do we even pay? You got a couple of hundred bucks on you? 
A credit card? It's been ages since I've even seen money. I forgot my purse. Let's go head to security. Find some way to turn off the alarm system. Okay, we got everything? No, not yet. We have to do another pass. Fortunately, I've got a flashlight. Security terminal. I doubt any of the guards are still out there. I'm sure this won't end well. They've installed electronic devices everywhere. Microtrips get scanned on entry and exit, calculating work hours. No one's supposed to leave without buying something. And of course, the camera silently records it all. They say it's a safety precaution, but that's bullshit. They record your every move so they can use it against you, publicly, if they have to. Little babysitters in fear of being replaced by a talking mannequin if you don't hit the sales quota? Well, but still. Better than living on welfare. Don't say Josiah Sanders didn't warn you. Docking station for charging and upgrading robots. No wonder it got left behind. It's beyond repair. Emily, help! Ugh, too close. Look, there's a pass card under the printer. If this were a video game, the password would be written right on it. No way. They're still alive? The tank must have an enclosed ecosystem. I envy you, little fishies. It's rough out here. to believe there were still so many ATMs. A lot of people never got past their skepticism of electronic credits. It's a generational thing, I guess. We can't take out cash without a debit card, and banks aren't open again until, well, ever. I know, right? Oh man, I'm so thirsty. Nice. Maddie, my boy, you're in luck. Hey, I found it first, you know. Told you. Life is unfair. Tell me about it. I hope you choke on it. <laughs> Easy there. All right. You see that VR zone over there? That's where we'll settle it. How about the first to win five rounds gets the drink? Are you forgetting something? We didn't come here to play games. Cops could bust right through the door and wouldn't even hear them with those headsets on. Oh no, Em, now you're starting to sound like Alex. No risk, no reward. When was the last time you had any fun? Five minutes won't kill you, and I'm dying to try the new VR rigs they've got over there.
We have a winner! Hand over that can. Ah, uh, what's fair is fair. Goodbye, my little aluminum friend. We've just met, but now we must go our separate ways. Parting is such sweet sorrow. Oh, hey, I almost forgot. There. Now we're good. You... you... Get bent out of shape. Here, have a sip, second place. Haha. -ha. My secret plan worked perfectly, baby. Your secret plan was barely even a plan, baby. If you say so, but I'm the one with the soda. Let's go. We need to get everything on Brian's list and find a way to get the goods past the cashier without paying. Now, let's look at what we've got. The staff room. I wonder if anything useful is left inside. Bundle of nerves. Always dropping stuff. I I'd like to help him out, you know, give him some advice. Inventory after closing, but when I asked his name, his face went all scarlet. And <laughs> I can't even begin to describe the look he gave me. <laughs> Took the whole red department thing too literally, if you ask me. seen one like it, except maybe in a museum. And there we are. Not a lot of finesse, but at least I got it open. Now let's see what's inside. It's a corporate ID tag. Employees used these to buy goods using their corporate discount. I should give it a shot. No one else is using it.
We can't leave yet. We don't have everything Brian needs. Amber? How may I help you? I'll let you know if I need you. Sure thing. I'm always ready to help. Amber? How may I help you? I'll let you know if I need you. Sure thing. I'm always ready to help. I think I can turn off the alarm systems from here, but I'll need the access codes first, and only the guards have those. Destroy all humans. Locked. If only this were a video game, the password would be written right on it. like to help him out, you know, give him some advice. Inventory after closing, but when I asked his name, his face went all scarlet. And <laughs> I can't even begin to describe the look he gave me. <laughs> Took the whole red department thing too literally, if you ask me.
We can't leave yet. We don't have everything Brian needs. It's a coupon for the prize machine. Not a thing. Yes! Found it! I was worried there'd be nothing left. Thank you for your purchase, Donovan. Your 10% employee discount has been applied. Don't forget to close your personal account this week. I hope you can forgive me, Donovan. All right, let's bail. Another damn shuttle. And another group of folks that got caught, I'm guessing. Fewer and fewer people left. Where the hell have you been? I would have gone myself if I had more than one leg. Anyway, did you find all the parts? Here you go. Everything from the list. Hope we didn't miss anything. Okay, that's it for me. I'm gonna get some shut-eye. My brain's done for the day. What are you doing? The internal components are delicate. You break one, you're marching right back out to get another. Okay, okay. Lucky we found all the parts. I'll get started immediately. Alex, can I get a little help, please? <laughs> See if I have a choice. We need to secure our water supply. Park helped me clear the debris blocking the door, but the boiler's still an issue. Relax, it's not urgent. We still got plenty of bottled water. Let's make the slacker do it when he finally wakes up. Can I give it a shot? And you can give me some hints if I need them. So, you're a plumber all of a sudden, huh, girl? I doubt it. Brian and I'll take a look once we're done here, but, uh, sure. <laughs> give it a shot if you got nothing better to do. Emily, do you want to have a look at the boiler? 
because when the guys removed the lumber, I was the first in line. This is horrible going so long without hot water. Unfortunately, it's not working. I have no idea how to fix it, and the men aren't doing a darn thing about it. It seems like it'd be easy for them. I know, right? But they always find something more important to do. Not showering might not bother them, but we really could use some fresh water from the well. Then we won't have to keep looking for bottled water all the time. There are no nanites here. Alex checked the samples. But I can't fix them on my own. Park would help, but he's out on a sortie. I'm no expert, but I'm willing to try. Although, the last time I tried my hand at plumbing, I flooded the neighbors below. I'll see what I can do. I could really use a little luxury myself. This thing looks ancient. It's a miracle it's still up and running. This thing's never gonna work, but I could get lucky. Figures, the pipes are riddled with holes, which is why the boiler keeps shutting down. There's nothing I can do here, not without tools. First thing is to patch any leaking pipes. I'm sure I'll find a use for these sooner or later. Here we go. sure it's all properly secured. There's nothing I can do here, not without tools. First thing is to patch any leaking pipes. There's no sense in trying this again. You know it won't work. Have to deal with the pipes first. Do the job, or do I need something stronger? Found you, you little pests. Before, nanites were used for medicinal purposes. Now, it's practically as bad as poison. And now for the tape. Let's seal it all up nicely. All right, I patched the pipes, so let's try to equalize the water pressure.
It worked! I... I kind of can't believe it. What's that buzzing? Emily! Did you get it working? The boiler, I mean. It's fixed? I think so. We should try running the shower. Mother's first, of course. No objections from me. Wow, Emily. I'm very impressed. Well, how about that? Little Emily fixed the boiler all by herself. Just a basic leak, big deal. The baby could have fixed that. <laughs> Maybe even Matt. Stay focused, Brian. Let's wrap this up before we line up for the shower. Claire's gonna be in there for at least an hour anyway. Plenty of time to finish up. Okay, the taser is ready. It ended up being more work than we expected and frustrating. But if it works as advertised, it might still be worth making one for everybody. Think of it as a prototype, a trial version. I hope you won't have to use it, but I'm also dying to see if it works. Looks kinda cheap. It better not fall apart in my hand. How does it work? The taser is effective at a distance of up to one meter, give or take. Theoretically, it'll fry robot circuitry like an egg. People too, most likely. So you better be careful with it. And remember, Matt, I'm looking at you. It's not a toy. The taser's experimental. Reliability and durability aren't exactly something we've been able to test, so use it sparingly. Emergencies only, you got it? Relax, Gramps. I know my way around a gun. So what now? You got another genius plan? Tell me I'm wrong. I told you already. We need to find others. Survivors like us. We've been hiding out for over a year. We can't just wait for more of us to get captured. So what are you suggesting? That we take this thing out and search for some robot brains to scramble? Of course not. But we need to connect with others. We can't be the only ones left in the city. We've already tried to radio other people, but the signal got traced and we almost got pinched. It's dangerous business, you know. That was using the transmitter from inside the hideout. What about sending the signal from somewhere else? I don't know a lot about this stuff, but there has to be a way to do it undetected by robots. Just people. What do you think, Brian? No. No way. It's too dangerous. We can't risk losing more people. I don't care. Anything's better than starving. Emily's right. We can't just keep sitting on our asses waiting for a miracle. Exactly. We live like rats, we'll die like rats. We have to find out what happened and how to fix it. I'd rather go down fighting than living in hiding. And besides, this time we're armed. Little Emily is right. I've got an idea. SNBC. The TV studio where I used to work, get it? Robots don't watch television. So, my guess is that the building is probably empty. We could send a signal and set it to loop. So as long as we leave quickly, the cops can't find us. Are you out of your mind? You're actually going to risk crossing half the city. What if something happens? You think you'll be able to outrun them all? Of course not, Alex. I'm an old man. No kids. Sarah's gone for a long time now. What do I have to lose? If we can help the younger folks, it's our duty to try. Alex is right. It's just too risky for you, Brian. Just explain what Matt and I need to do. I've only got one foot in the grave. Not both. I'll decide for myself. There's no way you're going. You thrill-seekers and adrenaline junkies, you're gonna get us all killed. Don't you see what it's like out there? How many people do we have to lose for you to wise up? Will you please stop shouting? Alex, I'll... I'm going anyway. Even if I have to go alone. You're not going alone. And that's final. Matt? God damn it. Fine. But only because I like you. Ah, to hell with you. Guess Emily's the new sheriff in town then, huh? When the damn cops scoop everybody up, don't come crying to me. That's it. I'm going to bed. We're all turning in. Rest up and prepare yourselves. We leave at sunrise. <laughs>